In February 2014, I met Simon Peter Kauma at his parents' home in Nansana, Wachiso district. It was school time, and while other children his age were busy in school, the young star was not, yet he was due to sit the primary living examinations. He was going through a painful sickle cell crisis and so could not concentrate in class. His mother says, in a school term of about three months, young Kauma may miss a cumulative four weeks because of such painful crisis. He's a bright boy. Even if he misses so many days, he does better than most of his classmates. The mother is not spared either. She cannot go to work when the boy is in pain. She has to attend to him because he needs extra care each time he gets an attack. The youngster has to take a lot of juice to keep him rehydrated in order to lessen the pain. This has been life since he was born 12 years ago. He was always anemic and would be hospitalized about three to four times a month. When both the man and woman have sickle cell traits, there is a high probability that they will bear a child with sickle cell. The child inherits the sickle cell genes from both parents who are sickle cell carriers. This is why some people are unwilling to marry a person with sickle cell traits or a sickle cell patient for fear of such inconvenience for life. Because we've seen so many people neglecting these babies, we've seen so many marriages break because of sickle cell disease. Uh, families think these, people, these kids are expensive, then they are not going to be anything in life. But not many people take precautions before marriage. Couples will go on to marry and even have children without testing and therefore beget children with a sickle cell disease. Even uh, the religious leaders marry off couples without even talking about sickle cell disease. They should be like at the forefront to talk about it, tell couples can you go and test, but they don't. But there is now new technology that enables children to be free of sequel cells even when both parents are carriers. It's done through the in vitro fertilization, which is available in Uganda. One provider is the Paragon Hospital Fertility Center in Kampala, as Dr. Olobo Lalobo explains. The process is very much like going through an IVF process in which the <clears throat> ladies ovaries would be stimulated in order to increase the number of eggs produced but when in stimulation of the ovary occurs a lady may produce between 10 to 15 eggs in that cycle that gives um, us the opportunity to be able to fertilize all those eggs so you then have maybe up to 10 to 12 eggs which are fertilized the next stage is that you are then able to test each of these eggs, which one, each of the fertilized egg, the embryo, which one carries the abnormal gene and which ones do not carry the abnormal gene. If both parents have the sickle cell trait, there is a 25% statistical chance that any given child could be born with sickle cell anemia. 25% chance that any given child could be completely unaffected and 50% chance that any given child will have a sickle cell trait. But with the IVF, there is almost a 100% chance that the child could be free of sickle cells. The screening takes place of the embryo and the embryo which does not contain the abnormal gene is then implanted and the child born would be free of the genes which our parents carry and would also be free, free from the combined effect of having a gene from each of the parents which will express itself on the child. Director of Sequel Cell Association Uganda, Ruth Nanka and Jamchibi, welcomed the new procedure. There are many people who don't want to see their babies suffering. So if someone can afford the money and doesn't want to see the baby suffering, they go for it, it's okay. She has some reservations though. Especially using the religious perspective that these other babies that you have not put back in the womb, you have killed them. So 
it becomes a problem. There it has a mixed feeling. Sickle cell disease is a genetic blood disorder which affects the protein in the red blood cells that help carry oxygen around the body. The sickle cell clinic in Mlago National Referral Hospital has more than 10,000 clients. Irene Namialo, NTV.